square hammer. What is up, guys? It's Kyle from Square Hammer back for my weekly hobby vlog update. Today is Sunday. It's a little bit later than I normally record, but good news was my nozzle for my airbrush came in, so I was trying to get some work done with it before I posted this video. A really funny thing about all of this, I'll show you. Uh, so I came back up to my hobby room today, and I was not wearing any shoes. And of course, if you've been following this blog, you know that I lost my nozzle in um, kind of the tall grass of my carpet, because <laughs> it's shag carpet. Now, look at this. Look what I happened to step on. I don't know if you can see that, but it hurt to step on. I looked down and it was the nozzle that I thought I'd lost, or I, I had lost. So now I've got, <laughs> now I've got two. I've got a backup. Um, but anyway, I got a, a good amount of stuff done uh, this week. Next week, I think, is really is going to be really productive because I've got my airbrush back. But um, let me show you what I got done. This is everything I got done this week. Some of you guys may have seen some pictures I put on Facebook. Um, but yeah, so these Citadel Woods I finished up. Um, added some washes and some static grass. And they... The grasses in the washes really make these things pop. Um, so we got three of those. And then I did this 3D printed piece of terrain. It's like a, I don't know, some type of elvish, <laughs> I don't know, summoning circle? I have no idea what it would be called. But um, this was done with a bunch of wet blends and washes and dry brushes and... Um, uh, army painter flock, same as the trees and the statue that's fallen over and all of the minotaurs that I did last week and a bunch of other stuff. Uh, I've got a bunch of it and I'm trying to use it up. So this is another piece of 3D printed terrain. Again, blended, washed, dry brushed, and then added some flock. Um, these... I, th I don't know. I'm really happy with the way they came out. Um, I'm not really a big terrain painter. Like, I'm just now starting to to do it. And that's largely because um, I really was in a bad place last week without, or this week without an airbrush. So, um, I had to work on some other stuff. Um, but then my airbrush came in and I was able to knock out uh, the Serang rock. Um, which I'm pretty happy with. I mean, it's not nearly, um, you know, it's nothing fancy, but it's tabletop and I think it looks good. This thing took me a lot longer than I thought it was going to take, quite honestly. There is so much surface area on all these little legs, um, but I'm decently happy with it. Um, now I've just got to base it and then my February pledge will be done. Uh, other than that, uh, while I had my airbrush out, I went ahead and pre-shaded all the Savage Orcs. Um, and I guess between now and the end of February, I'm going to focus on them and see how many I can get knocked out. There are around 40 here. I don't know the exact number. Uh, and then the other thing I was working on before my airbrush got here is I started basing all of these old metal, um, clan rats. I don't know. Plague rats, plague monks, and plague sensor bears. <laughs> These things are so cool. Uh, just like super 90s. Love them. But yeah, so I'm, I'm going to touch these guys up and then rebase them. Um, but I'm probably going to focus on these first because those are super back burner right now. Anyway, let's see how many orcs I can get through next week and I'll see you guys then. Mm -hmm. 